Hello Year 1, it's Mrs Dugu. This is week 5 of your maths home learning, the last week before half term. This week we're going to be learning all about money. We're going to try and find different amounts of money to make totals of money in different ways and add together different amounts of money. How many different coins do you think there are? What about notes? How many of those are there? True or false? All of the statements here are true or false. What I'd like you to do is listen to each of the questions and then pause the video and work out your answers. Come back when you have your answers and carry on listening to see if you got them right. Number one, all coins are silver. Number two, 20p is worth the same as two 5p coins and a 50p coin has the highest value of all the silver coins. Pause the video and come back when you've worked them out. Let's have a look. Number one is false because 1p, 2p, £1 and £2 are not silver. The second one is also false because two 5Ps is the same as 10P and not 20P. And the third one is true because the 50P is the highest value of the silver coins. Here is a word map with the different coins that we use in Britain. They start with 1P and go up to two pounds. You'll notice there isn't a coin for every number. So there is no 3p or 6p, for example. Have a look at the different shapes and sizes. Remember that there are different colour coins and the silver coins are in the middle, the bronze at the bottom, and then the gold coloured ones are at the top. You can use this page if you need to for your work during the week. You could print it out if you've got a printer at home. Otherwise, just remember it's here and come back to it in the video if you need it. For your Monday task, I would like you to log on to your Mathletics account and complete the activity called Everyday Money. Have as many tries as you like. If you'd like to do some extra work, there are also some money activities on Purple Mash or on ICT games. Tuesday's task. Today we're going to be solving problems. The first has three different parts. Pause the video on the next slide like you did yesterday and take as much time as you need to to find the answers. When you've found the answers, press play again so you can see if you got them correct. Purse puzzle. Gina fills two coins in her purse. One is small and circular. The other is large and has straight sides and corners. What coins might be in her purse? Is there more than one possible pair? And then write down all of the possible combinations you can think of. So pause the video now and come back when you have your answers. Here are the answers. So she could have a 1p, a 5p and a 50p, which means there is more than one possible pair. She could have a 1p with the 50p or she could have a 5p with the 50p. How did you get on? For your independent task today, I'd like you to solve the next problem in your workbook. Take as much time as you need. Remember to show me how you work it out and try and explain your answers really clearly. So, what coins might she get? Jane buys a small toy for 15p. She play, pays with a 20p coin. What coins might she get for her change? Pause the video and work out this question. Remember to show me all of your working out and how you find your answers. You can then come back and see if you got the answers right. Here are the possible answers. How did you get on? Wednesday. 
Today, we're going to be trying to make different ways to make the same total. How many ways can you think of that make 5p? Use the map here to help you. Pause the video and see if you can think of as many ways as possible to make 5p. Let's have a look. So you could have five 1p coins. You could have one 2p coin and three 1p coins. You could have two 2p coins and one 1p coin. Or you could have one 5p coin. You can't use any of the other coins to make 5p because they all have a higher value than what we need. For your job today, I would like you to choose one of the amounts below and see how many different ways you can make it. Remember, you can only use the values of the different coins, so no 3p or 6p coins. You can choose from 7p, 10p, 15p or 20p. You can do as many of these as you like. There is also a chili challenge on the next slide. Chili challenge. How many ways can you make one pound using only the four silver coins? So the 5p, the 10p, the 20p and the 50p. I look forward to seeing how you get on. Thursday. Today, we're going to be finding the total of different coins. This means that we're adding our coins together. But remember, when we add using money, you need to add the value of the coins and not how many coins you actually have. So I have three jars of money. Have a look at each one and see how many coins you can see and how much they are worth. Let's look at each one separately. So the first one, there are four coins. Each coin is a 2p, which means we have 2p, add 2p, add 2p, add 2p. So we have 8p in total. There are three coins in jar two, a 1p, a 2p and a 5p. So we have 1p, add 2p, add 5p. So we have 8p. Remember, we need to add the value of the coins, so not that there are three coins. Finally, in jar three, there are four coins. They are all 5p coins. So we have 5p, add 5p, add 5p, add 5p. We've got 20p altogether. Task one. Copy the jars into your book and then add the correct coins into them to make the amount shown. There is more than one way that you can do each one, but try and use the fewest or the least number of coins that you can. We have 5p, 7p and 8p. Pause the video now so you can complete task one. Task two. The coin jars now have 11p, 16p and 20p. Once you've finished these ones, you can stop your work for today, unless you'd like to try task three, the chili challenge. I'll leave it up to you. The chili challenge, same thing, but much bigger amounts. Can you make 27p, 45p, and 83p. Good luck. Friday's task. To begin to recognise and understand the value of notes. So remember, when you can use bigger amounts of money, use notes instead of coins. Right or wrong? Number one, one note will always be worth more than three coins. Number two, the smallest number of notes to make £30 is three. And Mike has two notes in his pocket. Melissa has three notes. Melissa says she must have more because she has three notes. Pause the video 
and decide whether each one is right or wrong and have a think about why. Let's have a look. Number one is wrong because three two pound coins is more than five pounds. So you would have more money with the coins than you would with the note. The second is also wrong because you can make 20 pound uh, £20 and 10 pound to make 30. So you'd only use two notes and not three. And the final one, also wrong, because if you had two £10 notes, you'd have £20, which is more than three £5 notes, where you'd only have £15. Your final task this week and before half time, I would like you to design your own £10 note. It must have the value of the note, so it must have the £10 on it, but you can choose the shape, the colour and the design. You can either do this in your workbook or on a piece of paper and then stick it in. I look forward to seeing your designs and hope you enjoy learning all about money this week. Good luck and I'll see you soon.